The final two rounds of the Coca-Cola Australian Sports Sedan Championship sees Greg Crick on pole position, the man leading in the point score over the fast-starting Mick Monterosa, Gary Scott, one of uh, three drivers involved in that controversial incident up at Lakeside, Des Wall in a Supra. The third row kicks off with Kerry Bailey and uh, Beninka, and then it's Ian Luff and Barnes in the Chevy Monza. And then Terry Shield, a very lightweight but fairly low-powered car, Brian Smith, Griffin, and McFadgen in 59 in what is a 15-car field. Green says go, and it's again Monterosso blasting away and Greg Crick chasing. Gary Scott did well initially, but then couldn't hold it together. And he's, in fact, uh, Crick even is in third place. Gary Scott's, what, sixth? The big heavy Jaguar. Good start from Des Wall as well. He, he passed the big super out from the second row of the grid and uh, to be in second position doing really well. Monterosso set them all a target to chase now. Gary Scott out wide there. The XJS, one of the cars that there it is, got remodeled with Brian Smith tucked in behind him. Got remodeled up at Lakeside. Monterosso also. As the incident was reported. Monterosso was challenging for the lead, clipped the Toyota Super of Des Wall up at Lakeside. Gary Scott ran into them, and it was a top gear accident just after the bridge at Lakeside. It was very high speed. They couldn't restart the race, so it was declared with more than three quarters of the race run. Earlier in the day, Monterosso had won the 11th round, but now Crick's up in the second place. Des Wall's third, Kerry Bailey's fourth, Gary Scott's fifth. Coming round to complete lap two in eight. Monterosa holding on. And indeed, Kerry Bailey coming through on Des Wall back at third and fourth. Here's an opportunity for Crick now under brakes. His car is, is better under brakes than the less court. Monterosa be happy to leave him hanging there, though. It's a great battle further back. You can see Gary Scott in there, too. Very busy indeed in Des Wall's car. Kerry Bailey comes through. So he goes up into third place. And Gary Scott comes up into fourth. So in one whisker, Wall's gone back from third to fifth, and Scott's looking for a way through to third, but can't find it. A bit of damage under the rear flare of the Monterosso car from Crick leaning on it through the uh, corner uh, about half a lap ago. Watch Monterosso on the exit. He'll try and stay in fairly tight. He came back pretty quickly. It's a fast blast up to here, and behind them, is tremendous action there. You see that it's uh, Gary Scott leading a bunch of cars. Bailey, Des Wall's gone back at Brian Smith sixth. Yes, uh, Scott's moved through. He, he fell back to sixth place on the first lap. Now he's up to third and he's improving on the cars in front of him as well. Monterosso always looking for the optimum run onto the straight because it's critical for him. He's out a fraction wide. Crick is better on the apex there. On the final corner, he tucks in behind Monterosa. Says, I'll have some draft. Tow me along and I'll see if I can pull out a little bit later down the straight. Up into top gear and Monterosso's the quicker of them. He seems to win the drag down the straight every lap. And Gary Scott and Kerry Bailey coming up closer and Crick's got it. And I think Monterosso's sunk now. Yeah, Monterosso let him run too, uh, ran too wide there and let Crick through Crick the inside. Bit of smoke coming from the back of the, uh, the Crick car as well, so that's not really good. So Mick Monterosso, great fending for three laps there. But look at the gap that Crick's already opened and it shows how effectively Monterosso was stopping his progress. That's the second very nearly. It's at least seven or eight tenths. Gary Scott will be a threat to Monterosso very shortly and that's the last thing he needs in terms of championship points. Have a look at it. See Monterosso right out in the boonies, right out wide. He's let Crick's uh, slip through. I think Monterosso just went too deep into the braking area at the end of the main straight, uh, ran out wide, and obviously paid the penalty. And one of the frustrating things is you know two or three seconds before he arrives that you've done it and you can't get your car back there, can you? No, it's too you late. can see it happening. See, the ground shakes as they thunder past. Bailey car trying to slip through the inside, which is done. Guy in the stereo getting knocked yeah. over 
over in the rush. Just drive, it'd be a better plot, I think, rather than flapping his arms about in the air. And Scott's back. Around the outside, big move from Scott. That's a very heroic move to get around the outside. Scott is a very accomplished driver. He's driven for the Nissan team in, uh, uh, three or four years ago uh, when they were running the uh, Skyline Turbos. Had pole position at Bathurst a number of years ago. And uh, he's a very aggressive driver. Yeah, motor racing family, second generation race driver. His father, Glenn, a very accomplished single-seater driver. Very rarely ventured into other cars, even sports cars. And I think only once or twice into St. Anne's on the inside but not going on with it and Scott there Monterosso shaking him off rather than fending him off and uh, Glenn finally killed at um, Surface Paradise Circuit a much loved single seater driver back in the days of Leo Gagan, Greg Cusack and others always had some nice cars some uh, early monocoque Lotuses Lotus 27 is and shoveling the big nose in there and knowing that Kerry Bailey's in behind threatening Great battle for second. So Gary's brother Tony does an excellent job. He drives the production cars and does an excellent job with that as well. Here we're coming onto the straight again. We'll just see that the Jag comes on better, but the uh, the Escort definitely has more straight line. Checkered flag it is for Greg Crick. Victorious over Mick Monterosso. Then Gary Scott, Kerry Bailey. Gary Scott sliding inside Monterosso, who gets the nudge. And that was just some of the battling that was going on in that second last round of the Australian Sports Sedan Championship that saw Greg Crick victorious, adding to his 30-point margin over Mick Monterosso. Gary Scott picking up third, Kerry Bailey fourth, then Brian Smith, Des Wall in the minor placings.